Elon Musk just unveiled a new Tesla Model S plot at the Tesla headquarters, so let's talk about it. As a Tesla owner, it was pretty exciting to see what the new Tesla Model S plot is capable of. The stats are very impressive. The all new interior looks beautiful as it looks functional. 25 lucky customers actually took delivery of their Model S plot during the event, which comes at about $130,000 a piece. The videos of the first drives have started to populate on YouTube and the car looks like a lot of fun. This version of the Model S was supposed to start shipping to customers back in March, but we know that Tesla misses their deadlines a lot and this is another example of it. The Model S Plaid can do 0 to 60 in under 2 seconds which puts it as the fastest production car ever. But why so fast we may ask? Elon Musk is trying to prove that and I quote, Sustainable energy cars can be the fastest cars, the safest cars, can be the most kick-ass cars in every way, end quote. And I think Tesla has definitely achieved this. The electric car is no longer the car of the future, as most manufacturers are starting to add electrified vehicles to their lineups. Electric cars that are not only cool, but also fast and comparably priced to the Tesla offerings. The Model S has come a long way. The original P85 could do 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds and nearly a decade later, the Plaid can cut these times in more than half. Impressive. It can also do a quarter of a mile in 9.23 seconds at 155 miles per hour, which would make it the fastest production car in this category. And it has a top speed of 200 miles per hour and an estimated 1,020 horsepower. And let's not forget that this is a sedan that can carry five adults comfortably. Elon called this limit of physics engineering. It can charge 187 miles of range in only 15 minutes. Elon said that these speeds are something you have to feel to believe. And I think that is the case as I haven't experienced anything remotely close to the quickness of my Model Y performance, which can do zero to 60 in about 3.5 seconds, but 1.9 seconds, that's insane, absolutely unimaginable. In the tri-motor version, it has a range of 390 miles, and in the dual motor version, it has a slightly over 400 miles of range. Keep in mind that when option as shown during the unveiling with the 21 inch wheels, the estimated range will drop slightly. Elon said that the plot can maintain a thousand horsepower all the way up to 200 miles per hour. It will come with an all new battery pack and the rotors will be covered in a carbon sleeve, which Elon claims is an industry first. The rotors can go over 20,000 RPM. The Tesla Model S Plaid will have the lowest drag coefficient of any car ever made at 0.208. It will come equipped with the latest heat pump, which will improve the range in cold weather by over 30%. And it will require 50% less energy for cabin heating, which again will help the car with its range in colder climates. Elon says that the radiator is twice as big, which will help cooling the car for better performance at the track. Elon Musk also made mention about the development of the supercharger network. There are currently 25,000 superchargers around the world, which I think set apart Tesla from the competition. Elon says that the supercharger network will continue to grow both in number and in power from now 250 kilowatts to 280, 300, and 350. Elon was proud to mention that Tesla aims to make the Tesla Model S the car with, I quote, the lowest probability for injury of any car ever tested, end quote. In fact, the top five vehicles with the lowest overall probability of injury are Tesla vehicles. Elon went on to say that the Plaid Model S is quicker than any sports car, faster than any Porsche, and safer than any Volvo, all in the same car. The exterior doesn't show much change. I think personally, it has aged well, but after nine years in production, it's starting to look its age. It looks a little bit outdated. I actually preferred the look of the Model 3. To me, the Model S looks bloated, <laughs> but with the minor aesthetic changes to the exterior, to the body, it looks more chiseled, more agile, a little bit more muscular. Where you can see the big changes is in the interior. With the implementation of a 17 inch horizontal screen instead of the vertical one. And there's a second 12 inch screen in the front of the driver and a smaller eight inch screen for the rear passengers. No Android Auto and no Apple CarPlay. Why? I don't know. The controversial steering wheel still looks a little bit too much to me. And I wonder if Tesla adjusted the turning ratio of the steering wheel to 
compensate for the lack of a circular, of a completely circular steering wheel as most of us are accustomed to. Tesla also removed the stocks altogether. To me, that is the most interesting thing about the whole unveiling. I'm not a big fan of Elon Musk's hyperbolic talk, but I love this phrase. He said, and I quote, I think generally all input is error. If you have to do something that the car could have done already, that should be taken care of, end quote. And I totally agree. Having had our Model Y for a few months now, I can attest to the convenience of this car doing a lot of the things for us that we will normally have to set up ourselves with manual controls. Very simple things like rain sensing wipers, all part of the standard package, automatic lights, automatic high beams, keyless entry and start, the lack of a physical key, and many other things that come to mind that make our Tesla such a pleasure to drive. With auto shift, as they call it, you can skip one more step in the traditional process of driving a car. It will sense that you are in the car and want to drive off. With the help of autopilot, it will detect if you need to go forward or in reverse. It will also learn your patterns of driving to keep minimizing the amount of input that you need to do while driving the car. The completely redesigned interior will be roomier in all directions. The back seat will have its own screen. It will also come with two charging pads for the front passengers and two more for the rear passengers. It has the ability to pair with multiple mobile devices all at the same time through Bluetooth. The Model S, like now the Model 3 and Model Y, has now hidden vents, which is one of my favorite features. And the rear passengers can control these vents with the rear touchscreen. It comes with ventilated seats, but only for the front passengers. The Model S comes with acoustic glass throughout the car and an in-house designed sound system that has 22 speakers and it will have noise canceling. The all new UI will allow for more customization and in the unveiling, it just looked super fast. Elon talked about the ability of the system to interface with your calendar. And I really don't know if this is the same system that is currently available already on our Model Y, but it is amazing. My wife has her calendar synchronized and the other day we went to a doctor's appointment and when, when we got in the car, the car brought up the appointment on the touch screen with hyperlinks to phone number, to the email address to the clinic, the physical address as well, and the time of the appointment. She clicked on the hyperlink to the address and the car figured out the fastest route. That was so cool, so convenient. Elon stated that the infotainment system in the Model S is at level with the performance of the PS5. They showed someone playing cyberpunk on the screen of the Model S and the graphics looked beyond amazing at 60 frames per second. Very smooth images. I was very excited to see what the Tesla Model S can do as the flagship of the brand is not a car that I ever envisioned to own. As I said earlier, I'm not in love with the style, but with the level of technology that it possesses, it gives me something to look up to in the future. As an owner, I also expect that some of these amenities trickle down to the more affordable models. With the cancellation of the Plot Plus, also went the announced range of over 500 miles. And while Elon said that nobody drives over 400 miles without a bathroom break, he overlooked the fact that some of us don't have a home charger and we have to use the supercharger network at all times. He'll be nicer to not go as often to charge up. And as I always say, the more range, the better. Especially when some of the competitors have ranges that in real life are better than what Tesla claimed their cars to have. I also will, love, will have loved to hear if Tesla took this opportunity to make the interior truly feel first class. I would have liked to hear what they did to make the cabin craftsmanship be at par with competitors. Yes, it is futuristic. Yes, it's full of technology, but is it truly premium to the touch? I guess I'll find out when I get the opportunity to test drive one. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making it this far in the video. If you haven't done so, please consider subscribing, like my video. I'll see you next time.